Doctor Who, The Gunfighters, Episode 4, The OK Corral, Last Chance Saloon. Ballard, he knew Johnny's name, and he spoke it out loud. Now Charlie's a bar- barman, has gotten a, sh- a shroud. The Doctor bar- backed Matterson, standing similarly by it as what up colours Charlie's body. Doctor, how do you know that killer was Ringo? Matterson, on the count, it must have been him or you. I don't f- figure you killed Charlie the barman. Of course, if you want to persuade me different. Doctor, certainly not, my dear Sheriff. Wait, now on the other hand, Bat, although the Claytons know he's not Dot Holiday, they do not see him shoot a gun out of Seth Harper's hand. Doctor, that was, that was nothing to do with me, Wyatt. Oh, but they think it was, and boy, you had him lined up against that piano like Skittles in an alley. Why are you going to... You're going to be a real, uh, be, you're going to be a useful man to have around when the shooting starts, Doctor. I certainly hope that I should not be, hope that I should not be here when Stephen Dado come back. Right. Oh, they're going to be all here, right? Doctor, because I'm deputizing you right now. Doctor, well, this is utterly absurd. Nothing will ever reduce me to raise a gun in anger. Right. Well, maybe you won't have to. But I mean, that with just that and me and Warren against the Claytons, you should, uh, you could come sure of shorten the odds some. Virgil, I'll help shorten them some more. Right, well, how are you there? This is my brother Vir- Virgil. Virgil, you want a drink for thirsty man, Wyatt? Well, I just about given up on you. Virgil, Virgil, hiya, Bat. Maxon, how are you do there? Wyatt, oh, I'm afraid the bar's closed, Vir- Virgil. Virgil, say, how'd that happen? Right, oh, got himself shot. You don't know Pop, do you? Virgil, howdy. Doctor, howdy. You mind not calling me Pop? Right, well, let's get back to the office. Come on, Bat. Ron's over there waiting for us, but Morgan can't make it. I'll tell you about it on the way over. Doctor's left alone with a Japanese pin, star pinned to his lapel, a gun once more in his hand. The Clayton Ranch. The Clayton brothers are right back at the family ranch. Of pa is waiting for them with Johnny Ringo, Kate, and Stephen. Like, Bill, now we got em. Billy, we got em, Pa. We'll get em. Got em. Pa, see you, co- you, see you coming. Took you long enough. Ringo, Billy, we got us an up. Ringo, you done what? Like, so you've finally got here now. The work's done, been done. We go, I ain't talking to you like. Talking to Billy, maybe. Get around you to you later, Billy. Like I said, we sh- both, we shot down one of the other Earp brothers. We go, you shot White up for this? No, he's kid. Ike, brother? For this, Warren. Billy, up. P- pa, where will we be? Now you really had declared war. Ferris office. But it's curtains for Warren. They've gunned the kid down. And then bad call outlaws are heading for town. On your way, then you cowboys, the time will be soon when there's blood in the, on the stardust on the, in the last chance saloon. But Wyatt, Warren up, is not quite dead. Warren, there's two of them, Wyatt. Wyatt, who? Who was it, boy? Warren, Clayton's, I guess. Coming real fast, shouldn't have let Phil in round me. I turned my back a minute. Wyatt, oh no. Oh, no one's blaming you, son. Rest easy, Warren. Don't get Morgan now. They got... Don't don't let Morgan know they got my gun. Virgil, he's gone, Wyatt. Well, get him on over up to the bench there. Virgil, Wyatt, it's no use, Wyatt. Do as I just said, like I said. Sheriff Madison turns Virgil, helps Virgil to lift Warren's body, lay out decently as instructed. And he turns to face Wyatt. Madison, I'll give him a war- I'll get a warrant from Wyatt. I'll get him. You know that. Wyatt, you get him. Virgil? Virgil, yes, Wyatt. Wyatt, ride on out to the Claytons and tell them we'll be waiting for them to come on some up. Madison, now listen, Wyatt. It's a right and a wrong way of doing this. Wyatt, stay out of this bat. Madison, this isn't legal, Wyatt. If you don't hold the law, 
You don't go stir in a private feud. feud. Wyatt, you're going to try to stop me? Madison, no, Wyatt. But I can't go along with you. The law says that, no, that, that, no. No, wait, wait, the law, the law can't bring my kid brother back. Virgin and me is going to step outside of the law. Virgin, I reckon so. I'll tell him, what do they say? Wyatt, tell him the old key corral. Virgil leaves. Virgil ballads so the urts and the claters are threatening to meet at the old key corral near Clamity Street. Wyatt takes out his revolver and loads the chamber with six bullets ballot. It's the old key corral, boys of gun fighting fame. Where they are the Earps and the Claytons, they played out the game. They played out the game, and we never more shall hear a story like of the OK Corral, Clayton's March. The Claytons and Ringo are eating a late supper. Phyllis, pass the coffee. Ike reaches over the table to grab some bread, much to Pa's displeasure thump. Ike, ah, Pa! Stephen sits apart with Katie. Kate, Kate, Stephen. Look, I'm going to try to slip away and get word to holiday. Kate, oh, if you don't knew I was here, he'd blast my head off. Thanks, Stephen. I'm sure he'll understand. You were only trying to get Ringo off his trail. Kate, ain't the way you dot will see it. Size, you get shot in the back before you've gone ten yards. Stephen, I don't know why you want to keep me here. They want what? Oh, I don't know why they want to keep me here. I'm no use to them. Kate, on account Ringo doesn't want what I hurt to know, he's here till he's good and ready. The house gallops out outside, the brothers grab their guns and run for the door. Pa, now coming out, we got trouble enough, seeing the fight, fight right firm, right up already. This, oh, he ain't up, like, ain't no one I've seen before, Ringo. I've seen him, old quintus of mine, Brett Marshall or Dodge. Name of Virgil Earp. Virgil, Clayton. Pa, I hear you, Virgil. Got a message for you. Pa, well, come on up, Ringo. You better get up the stairs. We want to show your ace before we're ready to deal. Ringo, okay, if you want me, you better shout real loud. Pa, line, on the, line up the door. Up on the door, boys. Ringo heads for the back of the parlour where he conceals himself. See, so you can keep retreat of Empress Emptively. The side of the room as Clayton spreads out to stand tensely, hands poised at the, their hips, and ready to draw as Virgil approaches the house. Pa, long way from Dodge City, ain't you, Marshall? Ain't you, Marshall? Virgil, reckon you know why I'm here? Your boys killed my brother Clayton. Pa, well, now, they're two sides to every. Virgil, they ain't here to argue, just to say that Wyatt and me. Beat them at the whole kicker out at sun up. Ike, and you have a posse waiting? You're crazy. Virgil Madison's got no part in this. Neither has the law. Just a royal private affair to settle between our two families. This and supposing we don't go. Virgil, then we'll come a looking. Virgil, our friend there. Whose side is he on, Stephen? Oh, I'm with you and Wyatt. Virgil, do you want to ride out with me? Stephen, yeah, I'd like to. Somehow, I don't think that was going to be possible. Power gets, stays here, not, not, now get, Ike. And tell her, it, it be there. Virgil, and tell him, sleep easy, Phyllis. Smirks after departing Virgil. Phyllis, well, it sure looks like a bad year for Earps. Laughter. Pa, yeah, hear that, Ringo? Ringo, I heard. Ike, well, it looks like we've got them. Two to four. Ringo, you mean I got them two to one? Phyllis, who you figure that out? We'd, we'd be here there too, Ringo, sure. You'll be there waiting for them. Kind of like cheese in a, in a mouse trap. But you know what, Ringo? I'll oh, shut up, buddy. You ain't got a hope of hell against them two. You, you, only you ain't old enough to know it. Like, so what do we do? Ringo, let me earn my money. Why don't you? I'll take them behind while you face them. But he never figured you for a back shoot of Ringo. Ringo, I never figured you for any kind of shoot, buddy. Which is why I, we do it my, my way, okay? Real careful. Sheriff's officer, a doctor enters still wearing his deputy's badge. No, we summon these, doctor. Now, mind up. Which, what part am I supposed to be playing this feud between you and the Claytons? I thought you gave me this 
to uphold the law, not medicine. He's right, Wyatt. You can't ask him, Doctor. My main concern is for the safety of the Stephen and Dodo. Now I can't ask you to change. Now I can't. I ask you to change your mind. Medicine ain't no use, old timer. He won't. He won't listen to me. He won't even listen to nobody. Virgil returns. Right. You see him, Virgil. I see him. Right. Gonna be. Gonna be there. Right, Virgil. Oh, there be there. Only thing is. Right, well, very well, fell up there with him. Name is Stephen Grant, Doctor. Stephen? What in the world? Virgil claim he ain't no pal theirs, but right, well, Doc, Doctor. Well, if he's there, he's not a matter of ch- he's there. Is there, there is not a matter of choice. He's still reaching search for Dodo with Dodo with Ringo. Virgil, well I can't s- didn't see Johnny Ringo. I sure saw his horse and Kate. Ain't she his girlfriend? Well, she's there too, right. So ring news with the Titans, huh? Well, it looks like you and me are going to have a busy morning, Virgil. Doctor, oh, this is sheer madness, Mr. Sheriff. You can't take on the Titans and ring them. Holly, they won't have to. Right, Doc, I thought I told you get out of town, Holly. Well, now, right. So he did, but the fact is I bring here, I bring here a gunpoint by a woman, Virgil. You expect me to believe that? Holly, the lady is here. The one and only Miss Dodo Davenport. Dodo follows him into the office, waving a gun behind above her head. With a flourish, Doc takes it from her. Holly, ah, thank you, Dodo. Doctor, thank goodness you're safe, Doctor. Oh, my dear, I'm not in the slightest bit of danger. It was you that were, that we were worried about, Holly. Well, right now, where do we meet those, those Claytons, Virgil? We... Now you see here, Wyatt, I ain't told Kate currently to fight you alongside an all outlaw friend of yours or no. Holy, suit yourself, Virgil. I just wish you good luck. Go off to find my Kate. Virgil, oh, you'll find her at the Clayton's. Holy, what's that you say? Right, yeah, she's with Johnny Ringo. Holy, Johnny Ringo? Virgil, I saw them myself. Wow, the two back, Holly. I'll be fighting beside you two tomorrow morning, whether you like it or not. Doctor, this is ridiculous, gentlemen. Do you not uphold, can you not hold, hold the law without using firearms? Why, well, old my friend, now I got Doc Holiday back. Well, you can hand, <coughs> hand in your badge any time you want. <coughs> Pop. <coughs> but, oh, good heavens, what a relief. Here you are, Bat. <coughs> Here's your badge, and this, <coughs> here, here is your wretched re- <coughs> weapon. Holly, what? <coughs> Bat, now are you posing to handle this little Clayton matter? Right, how are you posing to handle this little Clayton matter? <coughs> right, well, I just right, will right <coughs> up there and face them, Holiday. <coughs> you reckon old Paul Clayton will play that <coughs> sim- It's that simple? Very well, they reckon they're four to one. Holy well, holy one of them. For always dreaming or ain't lining up no, for no square dance. I'm going to play, play this my way, Wyatt. So <coughs> what is your way? Doctor, yes, that is what is yeah. it, that what it is your way, Doctor Holiday. Doctor Holiday. Last chance saloon. Later, yeah. the Doctor and Dodo are sitting alone in t- the bar. Dodo, isn't it time you went to bed, Doctor? Dodo, yeah. oh, how can I possibly sleep, my dear? Then Stephen is mixed up with all this, Dodo. I'm quite sure that Stephen can take care of himself. Doctor, yes, I'm not worrying about Stephen, my dear. What about this man, Mr. Earp? Suppose he gets killed. Who's going to uphold the law and order this territory? Why they couldn't let Madison handle the affair? I don't know. We were posse deputies. At the end of it, to let the Claytons get their fa- a fair trial, Madison. Proud to hear you say so, but Doctor. If you feel that way, there's nothing you can do. I tried all night to talk Wyatt out of this. He didn't listen. I'm asking you to talk to the Claytons. Do you like the... Uh, uh, that's our only chance, Doctor. Me? But me, my dear Sheriff, I should have thought you were the one to convince. Madison, no, no. They know me as for a friend of Wyatt's. But if you go to them wearing your badge, say you would guarantee them a fair trial, it might persuade them. Me? I'd rather face trial than Wyatt, Virgil, and Doc Holiday together. Dodo, yes, I see. Dodo, and you might be able to help Stephen. Doctor, yes, quite so, my dear. That will pass through my head. Yes, well, Mr. Sheriff, 
You need my sisters? I certainly will go along and talk to them. Matson, good. Matson once more pins the badge to the doctor's coat. Matson, now if only about two hours to sun up. You better get started right now. Clayton's ranch. Pearl, boys, on their way. Stephen, oh, on their way to murder? Pa, there's a big word, boy. It fits, though. Stephen, this wasn't meant to be a, this was meant to be a fair fight. Pa, think I'm gonna, you think I wanna see my own boys killed? Stephen, they may be well, be, they may well, as, may as well be, if they win them this way. Matt's gonna see they're home for it. Pa, when the shooting's over, we'll have this town in the palm of our hand, including Madison. Stephen, they're still Morgan up. Pa, if he's still alive, we'll deal with him too. Don't, can't build an empire, boy, without getting a mite unscrupulous. There's a knock at the door. Pa, come on in. Doctor, Mr. Clayton, I presume? Stephen, Doctor. Doctor. Oh, no, no, not Doctor at the moment, my dear boy. I'm Deputy Sheriff of Tombstone. Pa, we need something. Like I've been a Roman again. So then I shall I come along to ask you to call off your boys and bark in this ridiculous jewel. Oh, yeah, it seems that him was the ones who got challenged. Doctor, and if you can do this, I'm sure the Madison will see you get a fair trial. Pa, hey, that's real handsome. Oh, you don't fit in with my plans, Doctor. I see. You prefer them to be shot down in the street. Oh well, they can't take the, you, they can take their own, they can take their chances. See, oh, they ain't taking any chances, Doctor. Johnny Ringo's going to be behind the ups. Pa, one old, boy, yeah, man, you regret your dead boy. Doctor, ta, 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 ta. You're alluding to the presence of Mr. Ringo. I can assure you, sir, there has also been anticipated. They're quite ready for him. Pa, okay, supposing they are. You still only need two of them against four. Doctor, you have been sadly misinformed, Dr. Holiday, there also. Pa, what? Kate, you said Holiday was in New Mexico, Kate. I blush with shame, Mr. Clayton. They do, you do. That was a ba- that was a damn blasted lie. He's right here in Tombstone with the Earps. Pa, Doc Holiday and the Earps again, my brother, boys? May Street, Ballard. So the cars are down, drawn, and the chips, they are down. The lords and lawmen are heading for town. The Earps and the Claytons are aiming to meet the O.K. Corral near Calamity Street. When the Ringo and Clayton brothers arrive at O.K. Corral, Phyllis, we're early, Ringo. Do you want to let, be late for your, you want to be late for your own funeral, buddy? Do you cut that out, Ringo? I right, take it easy, kid, Ringo. Do you remember what I told you, buddy? Yeah, I remember. We're the bait in the trap. Bigger, that's right. And don't for, now don't forget. Start firing before you get into range. And go on firing to, so they don't get a chance to look behind them. Cause that's where I'll be, okay? We're seeing you, both. So them bad cool outlaws. And meeting, I'm meeting up soon. They'll get drunk. They're drunk the last drink in the last chance saloon. Soldiers, sheriff's office, Wyatt. Well, best be going, Madison. Wyatt, are you sure I can't stop you? Wyatt, nope. Madison, okay, so good luck, Wyatt. Ready, Doc? Doc, oh, where it is, be, I will be. Why, these here get togethers have to be held at sun up? I will never know. I ain't civilized. Wyatt, now just where are you going to make. You'll play from Doc Holiday. Well, it's like I said, Wyatt. I'll be showing along real easy behind you. On the shady straight side of the street, okay? Wyatt, okay. Wyatt leads Virgil, Virgil out. Holiday remains behind and lifts his hat to Madison. But he, he too leaves. Okay, crowd, Ballard. It's the okay crowd. Boys have gone fame, fame, fame. With the Wyatts and the Claytons, they played out their game. Ike. Here they come, boys. They were up to appear at the corral entrance. Ike, now, the page is over fire, but up stand their ground. Ike scatter, the boys split up. The brothers split up and dive for cover, shooting as they go. As the Earps come into range, they start to return fire. Where well, take the side. The load is advancing slowly along the side of the street, and where Ringo is just a few yards behind him. Dodo, Doc, look out. 
As he spins around, the dodo's warning, but the dodo won't go. Grows a girl and smalls boldly to his rival. Meanwhile, he, Doc Holiday. Who invited you, Doc? Holiday, you did, Vingo. It's gonna, it's gonna seem kind of, it seemed kind of seemly to show up. Vigo throw down your gun, or the girl gets it. Doc throws his revolver aside, and it skims across the sidewalk. Coming to rest in the red road, Vigo eyes follow it. Can you hold the dodo tightly as a shield? He moves to pick it up, but as the gunman stoops, dodo catches him off balance and shoves him hard. His lips laying on his back and the dirt. Dodo runs to shut her. Doc calmly takes out his dinager and shoots. Holly, I'm sorry, Johnny. The Claytons and the Earps continue to trade bullets as Holiday stands over the dying ding Ringo. Holly, I thought you better I thought you you do better than that, Mr Ringo. Ringo, I will next time. Dry line is still. A doc receives his gun before turning retrieves his gun before turning to Dodo. Holly, now Ah oh, now, Missy. You sure do perhaps me. Go on now. Get the hell out of here, Dodo. I'm sorry, Doc. I was only, I was only trying to help. What are you trying to help me any? You trying to help me anymore? You be the devil, me. Go on, Doc Holly. Holly finds White Oak shooting from up behind a barrel. Holly, Ringo, was it here? White and Holly, he ain't no more. Billy Clayton is firing from beneath a wagon. Billy, come in. I'm gonna get Doc Holiday under cover of Holly's shots, Mike. Billy calls forward to take. New sentry over under the porch of a building, and where he continues to fire in Holiday's position, he's edging the bullets go wide. Well, stands takes careful aim, bam bam. But he looks up in surprise and pain before collapsing. He struggles to sit up and able to grip his gun properly. Doc steps forward and looks, but he's straight in the eye before firing a last shot. But he gun discharges harmlessly in the ground as he dies. Fierce hooks on appalled. Then breaks cover and runs round the back of the wagon, merging the other's end and plain sight of Virgil up. His shirt stained crimson, Phyllis staggers against the wagon, clutching the wheel of support before finally sinking under a barrage of shots from the Earps. Last chance, Slayton standing, Ike runs up some stairs and takes aim at Hardy as he peers through the corner, around the corner. He pulls the trigger, the chamber is empty, the hammer clicks harmlessly. Doc fires in Wyatt and Virgil. Ike tumbles over the hand rail and bites the dust. Barry, they pay their sins. And they lost on the draw. For the Earths, they were faster. And they was the law. So beware all you cowboys who's uh, yelping, yearning to sin. The Earths are the gunman, lawman. You ain't gonna win. Never at livery, Sable. Sometime later, sometime later, doctors fight the Stephen the Dodo and get along with Doc Holiday and Kate back to where they left the TARDIS, Doctor. Why not? You want to, you want to leave too soon? I can't imagine all the Claytons are dead, but Ringo is dead. The Holiday, Madison ain't. Stephen, yes, but surely why Herb? Holiday, why Herb is no longer lawman. Besides, he killed two Claytons. Dodo, even so, he never let a friend down. Holly, near Wood Matterson. Hey, show Doc. Holly unrolls a wanted poster showing his picture and offer of a $2,000 reward. Holly, ain't nothing Matterson wouldn't, be obli- wouldn't do to oblige a friend. Kate, ain't it always, be the, ain't, ain't, always, ain't it always the same? Holly, always the same, Doctor. It's a very good likeness. Holly, it's yours. Doctor, thank you. Holly, goodbye to you. Come on, Kate. Arm in arm, Doc and Kate leave the stable. Doctor, it's a terrible, terrible injustice. You know, I'm very tempted to, but Dodo, listen. Better so fill up your glasses and join in the song. Lawyer's right behind you. You won't take long. Dodo, oh, my dear Dodo, my dear Dodo. You know, you're fast becoming a prey to every cliche ridden convention. The American West. It's high time you left. Now, come along. See, you thank goodness for that. Dodo, come along now. Dodo, oh, but Doctor, Doctor, I don't want to discuss it any further. In you go, come along. Doctor drops the wanted poster in the hay and goes in TARDIS of his companions. TARDIS, the time machine is landed once more. The scanner shows image of a rocky ravine. But yes, I think I can say, I know just exactly where we are, 
where we are. They look past, present, or future. Doctor, in the future, very much in the future. We have now reached a distant horizon of an age, age of peace and prosperity. Now it's I'm going to be off. You all move along with the scanner. For the scanner, just a primitive looking figure wearing animal skins and carrying a club comes into view. Look out for next episode, The Savages. Thank <laughs> you.